everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I am very happy to see you here today and I hope you're all doing great even if we live in very strange and turbulent times for the moment. Today's video will be a viewers questions video and uh, in my viewers questions videos I answer different questions that you viewers have sent to me. It could be questions you have uh, asked in the comment sections below or uh, sending me the questions by mail or maybe the questions have come up in the Telegram group. And I have uh, five of those questions here. And today we're going to look into following questions. The first one. Does the oil refill in the ground like an infinite source or is it a um, limited uh, fossil um, fuel? Mm. The second question, will we have replicators in the future? And replicators, yeah, you have seen them maybe in Star Trek movies and other sci-fi movies. You press on a button, you order a pair of boots and poof, their pair of boots comes up or if a meal or fruits or whatever. This replicator machines uh, in those sci-fi movies, they can replicate anything. And will we have this kind of technology in the future? The third question, what will happen till to Justin Trudeau? Uh, there are certain names here, I will not pronounce them correctly. But I can be quite sure you will know who I'm talking about. Since uh, there are a lot of uh, red flags, uh, names and words here on this channel on YouTube. So I have to be a little bit careful with some names. So some names I will yeah, change the pronunciation a little bit. But I'm sure you know who I would be talking about. And this Justin Trudox, um, he's uh, a so-called leader in uh, Canada. The fourth question is J F E K Jr. still alive? And this person is the son of a very famous president that was murdered uh, yeah, a couple of decades ago. And the fifth and last question for today is about super calderas. And the one I'm going to look into is Campi Flegrei and the Yellowstone's super volcano, if they will erupt. Mm. Well, but before I begin to look into those questions, I'm just going to put my paper here. I just need to say that I'm extremely grateful to all of your viewers for all of your support to this channel. Uh, for your coffees, for your comments, for your sharing and caring. Everything you do to this channel helps me and gives me strength and inspiration to continue doing more videos. And without your help, uh, there will not be any channel or videos to watch so I'm very very grateful for that and also a little scam warning I have to do it in the beginning of every video uh, please uh, be aware there are a lot of scammers out there some of them are pretending to be me using my profile number and uh, email address that uh, looks like mine but it's not mine and um, you could get contacted by them and I would ask you for favors or money, you want to sell you something, or maybe they're pretending to doing readings in my name. Please, this is not me. Don't buy, don't fall for this. Um, I don't sell anything, promote anything, I don't contact you first, and I don't do any personal readings. So if you should uh, get contacted by one of these, red flag directly, block ban, if you like, if not, if you like to be scammed, well, it's up to you. But uh, please be aware. 
and also in the comment section if someone pretends to be me using my profile photo uh, look it through so it has my youtube id number and that is tarot by isabella 209 you will also find it below my profile photo if it's not that exact uh, id then it's not me uh, anyway i wouldn't it's not me if i try to ask you for something uh, in well if someone tries to ask you for something in with my profile photo and the correct email address and the correct link to the telegram group and my backup rumble channel you will find it all down in the description and also for those who are asking for highlight uh, different countries please look into the a video list i have a, made a quite few highlight videos on different countries it's a big possibility you could find your country there and don't look so much on the time frames because time is very difficult to predict on uh, in those many of those videos i mentioned in the future in the future that could be one two three four years depends what i'm talking about so many of those videos are still up to date take away a little bit of that uh, time frame and you will find find them um, but they, they could still be interesting for you. Um, I have to concentrate a little bit on other countries, not European countries and uh, North America. There are so many other countries around the world and people are suffering everywhere. It's not only in Europe and the Western world. Um, people are suffering much, much more in many other countries. And I will try to make a little bit here and there countries that maybe are not so much in the news but could be in the future anyway that was the little introduction so let's start with the first question and to do those questions we'll use my tarot cards and um, oracle cards and some dice i also here have a little crystal ball that will give a little bit more balanced answers and keep myself grounded. It's a fluorite, deep green fluorite crystal ball, and it helps to clear uh, the energies. So things that can come through will be more um, balanced, you can call it that way, yeah. So the first question for today was about oil. Uh, that's the oil refill in the ground like an infinite source so is oil the black oil in the ground an infinite source or is it something that can run out so there will be no more oil so let's look into that question first about oil is it a scarcity, something that we'll, we not find anymore? Or is it something that is coming up all the time? Something the earth produces all the time? Let's see. Just a moment. Last card and some dice.
Okay. And the cards, they look like this. <clears throat> Let's see what we got about oil. The first card is Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords, The World, King of Cups, The Empress. Then on the Oracle cards we have a Compass, Peace Offering and a Widow. And on the Major Arcana card we have Judgment and on the dice we have um, a palette for painting oil paintings, a hammer and cheeks. What to say about this? The card in the center is the world. It's something that it's like a rebirth, a new era, a end of something old, beginning of something new, some a circle, something that goes round and round and around. So with this card in the center, uh, the answer of this question is, it's something that is refilled. Oil is not a scarcity, it's uh, coming back and coming back and reborn and reborn. So according to the cards, with this card in the center, I would say definitely it's not something that we will run out of. It is a liquid that is reborn, made by Mother Earth. And here we have the Empress. So Empress is um, abundance, is fruitfulness, is uh, birth. So it gives birth, it comes back, it's fruitful. And, and it's um, regenerated, yeah. So something that is plenty of and uh, it's, it is created new all the time. Um, here we have in the beginning there are a lot of talk. No, um, when it ends, it ends. We have to look for new sources. We have to look for this. We have to look for that. But according to the cards, anyway, I cannot say if it's true or not. It's according to the cards. It's a prediction. Um, it is something that is renewable. And uh, the truth about the oil will come out. And that will lead to a lot of peace because the transition from uh, fossil fuel, no, it's not fossil, but from oil to other kind of energy sources. Uh, will go much smoothly when people know that this is not something we'll be lacking of. It is something that will Earth creates all the time. Because there is working, there's a lot of work on the transition to something new. Mm -hmm. And the judgment. Um, what we have been thought will die. Something new will be born out of it. Mm. And the widow. Yeah, there will be a lot of sorrow when this comes out because all those multi-billionaire companies that have been sucking people dry of their money, of other resources, with this scarcity propaganda, they will not be happy. They will be left alone like widows. So yeah, the answer to this question is uh, oil is not something that uh, we will run out of. It's a liquid that is uh, created all the time. Uh, it's refilled all the time. Yeah. Well, that was my answer for question number one. Let's continue to question number two. And question number two was, will we have replicators in the future? Yeah, that's a very interesting question. 
Many of you have seen some sci-fi movies with replicators. You press in some buttons and you order a cup of coffee or a pair of boots or plate of fruits, whatever, and poof, suddenly it's there. And is that possible? Well, theoretically, I think it could be possible if there could be some very advanced technology. You just load them with uh, these elements, chemical elements, and there is some program how to attach this element with that element, and then suddenly you have what you order. But I will take some cards on that to see if we will have replicators in the future. Uh, and this kind of replicators could end world famine and could end the exploitation of natural resources and the nature in all kinds of ways. So let's see, uh, will we have replicators in the future? Just a moment. And some dice. An empty one, and then another one. Another empty one. So. Well, the cards, they look like this. Well, on the tarot cards, we have Seven of Wands, the Star, Six of Wands, the Chariot, Ten of Wands. On the Oracle cards, we have Stability, You Can Do It, and a lot of clocks. And on the Major Arcana, we have the Ermite. Here we have a Lion. Calendar with the number 15. Seas, Water, and an Airplane. According to the cards. Of course, the greedy forces that are disappearing at the moment but that have ruled our world for thousands of years, they're not interested in, in this kind of technology. And this kind of technology would make them poor and uh, would eliminate hunger and poverty and also save the planet. And it would not be able they would not be able to continue to um, get richer and richer and richer. So, of course, they have been fighting and fighting and fighting not to allow this kind of technology to emerge. But here we have some changes coming in. We have the star and we have the Six of Wands in the center and the chariot. 
So something new is coming, a new direction. And above six of wands, six of wands is success, success, victory, achievement. We have the oracle cards where it stands, you can do it. The, in the question we had, will we have it, replicators in the future? And with the six of wands and you can do it, I would say, yes, we will have replicators. And this technology is not terrestrial, it's uh, off-world. Other planets' uh, technology, alien technology, you could call it. We have this star here. So it's technology that is used on other planets, other solar systems. And it will be coming back. I say coming back because there have been times that this technology were available here on Earth. We have the Ermac. It's hidden knowledge, old knowledge, uh, ancient knowledge. So it's really nothing new, but it could seem new to us. But it will come back. Mm -hmm. And here on the dice we have the lion. Yeah, we have those. They are fighting like lions to keep it away from humanity. But their days are counted. We have number 15. It doesn't mean it's 15 days or 15 weeks, but it means that there is a date set uh, when this will be uh, given out to, to the people again. And it will fly over water. So it's meaning that it will be available in every country, over waters, in countries, so it will be distributed everywhere. And it will give stability to the planet. And here we have the clocks ticking again. So the time is ticking and it's just a question of when we will have uh, this technology available for us. Of course, for many people, it will be very difficult to accept that we don't have to work hard for um, uh, for the food or for the clothes. Um, still, why not? We can still enjoy being out in nature, taking care of nature, and eat the fruits and berries, but the earth will not be exploited for that. Uh, it will be able to heal. And still hard work will be uh, have to put down to heal heal our planets, our planet. So it seems like this technology will uh, be available. Uh, I will take one last card. It, I don't promise that we can get no time on that, but I will still take a card. Uh, when is it possible that we could see this technology being used here on Earth? Page of Cups, nine. Uh, a strong number nine could be nine years, nine weeks, 2029. Something with number nine nine months, September. It's difficult to say, but it looks like it will be, even if this technology is an old technology, it will be new for us. It will be not difficult, but it would be very strange to get used to it in the beginning. But it still seems that uh, it will be available and it will um, eliminate hunger and exploitation of the planet. Uh, one can think, okay, could it be the deep state, some kind of control? We don't want to eat 3D printed meat and bugs. This is different kind of technology. Those 3D printed meat stuff, it's made from humans, but this is off world. It's something different. Mm. and uh, the technology it's it's really really not the same 
we will see when the time comes uh, for the replicators but it looks like according to the cards anyway that we will that we will have replicators in the future well that was my answer for question number two let's continue to question number three and question number three was about the so-called leader in Canada. What will happen to him? Just introdux. Mm -hmm. What will happen to him? some guys Okay, the cards, they look like this. Let's see what we have here. Uh, in the tarot cards, we have the Hanging Man, Two of Coins, Ermite, Knight of Cups, Nine of Wands. And on the Oracle cards, we have an Ice Bear, Energy Healing, Fortune, and the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have a fairy, looks, and my future. To Mr. Good Looks, at least he thinks he has, a very, very rough period is coming. It's the hanging man. Mm -hmm. He will be put on ice. There is a rope waiting for him. Mm. Trodox. Um, it's like he will not be there. He will not be seen. Uh, or he goes into hiding or there are uh, literally a rope waiting for him. him hanging man. Mm. And with that rope will come energy healing come a period of healing for the country and uh, time of fortune. So the fortune for uh, Canada will change to the better. It will be work to rebuild the country after Trodox uh, is uh, there no more and he will be replaced by someone who is more fit to do the job. Mm. I will take one more card on the hanging man. What is this about? Again, it looks like he will be replaced for someone that really want to have uh, the want the country to blossom again. We have the Empress and King of Wands, so someone with fire, someone with energy, uh, will take over for a period of time. Mm -hmm. 
um, but according to the cards some kind of hanging rope some kind of disappearance will he will yeah he will be put on ice he will not uh, be able to be in the position he is today well that is my answer for question number three let's continue to question number four and question number four was if Jeff K. Jr., the son, presumed dead son of a murdered president, is he still alive or is he really dead? So let's look into that what the cards have to say. Is he still here um, in flesh and body and so? Or has he gone to other dimensions? Let's see. Jeff K. Jr. Is you, are you still alive? And the cards look like this. Yeah, uh, in the tarot cards we have Ace of Coins, the Armite, Nine of Wands, Four of Cups, Knight of Cups. On the Oracle cards we have a Judge, Power of Joy, um, the Signs of the Zodiac, like a whole year. And the chariot. On the dice we have a mountain, mountains with a moon, magic wand, and a penguin. Mm -hmm. What to say about those cards? I don't get uh, through the cards that he has passed away. We have the judge here and we have the ermite, so he's been hidden away. And that has been difficult for him because he wanted to do so much work. He wanted to do so many projects, but he was not able to do it since he was like the ermite in a cave, you know, hidden away. Um, yeah, here we have the mountains, caves and so on. But... He will appear again, and that will bring a lot of joy to many people. Mm -hmm. And I have the signs of the zodiac, all 12 of them. It could be that within one year, or 12 signs, that we will hear something about this Jeff K. Jr. Uh, and that could bring a lot of joy to many people. 
even if he comes out from his cave where he has been hiding for a long time, I still don't see him in a very high position. He will be doing different kind of jobs, but he will have a lot of information about many things. It will be needed in the uh, tribunals in front of judges. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't see him like being a world leader, he will have a more modest um, occupational yeah, job, not a very high position job. But he didn't like to be in hiding, it was, yeah, when he, he comes out he will tell it, it was very difficult for him. Mm. But it will feel like uh, someone has swung a magic wand and poof, suddenly he appears. So according to the cards, this person has not passed away and within probably, probably within a year or something, um, he could appear and uh, it will be shocked. For many, for many, not, but for many years. Okay, that was my answer for if Janier is still alive. Now, let's continue to the last question. And um, the last question is about super volcanoes. And especially about two volcanoes. We have um, one that is called Campi Flegrei and it is a bowl-shaped caldera centered on the Gulf of Puzzoli, just outside Naples, Italy. And um, in that area there have been big uh, volcano eruption before and a caldera is a large crater that forms after the collapse of a volcano following an eruption and this is a big crater in that bay gulf of Pozzoli and this submerged mouth of the volcano is home for more than 360,000 people and around 2.3 million million people live around it so in that area the volcano somehow is still active. There is some volcano, volcanic activity. And a lot of people are scared that this submerged mouth of a volcano can have a new eruption. And that could uh, be very devastating for millions of millions of people's lives. And I will look into that if this big caldera outside Naples will have an eruption and I will also look into the Yellowstone National Park and in Yellowstone there is another caldera in the ground a big crater that has been a super volcano with eruptions long time ago and it's still active because there are smoking geysers and the ground is shaking sometimes and um, a lot of people are worried that the Yellowstone National Parks could have an eruption and it is a super volcano there too. So first I'm gonna look at the Italian one, the um, Caldera Campi Flegrei, if it will have an eruption. So let's concentrate first on the super volcano outside Naples.
and some dice. Okay, the cards, they look like this. Okay, let's see about the submerged volcano outside Naples. In the tarot card, we have the Judgment, Six of Swords, King of Cups, Two of Coins, Three of Coins. On the Oracle cards, we have Marriage, Energy Healing, Mice, and the Fool. And on the dice, we have a monkey, a bowl of rice, and a microscope. According to the cards, I don't see a giant volcanic eruption in the near future, or for a long time anyway. Uh, with you know, many millions of lives devastated and catastrophic scenario outside Italy. I see though that there will be some activity uh, but I see like this pressure will be um, directed somewhere else not in a big uh, explosion yeah, that could be very very dangerous. Uh, people will notice some activity, will notice steam or will notice some shaking, but I don't see a super big explosion. What I see somehow that they will be able to or direct the lava in another direction so it will not be an explosion some kind of way to uh, stop that uh, volcano to erupt uh, yeah but I don't see big eruption not in many 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 years anyway and if it will begin to want to erupt they will have some kind of way to calm that volcano down. Yeah. Now let's look at the other super volcano, the one in Yellowstone. Will that volcano have a big eruption? And um, the volcano in Yellowstone could really, really be very dangerous if it exploded. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Yellowstone super volcano. Three of Cups, happiness. No, it doesn't look that way, but still I'm gonna take some cards. Jellowstone, oh, Jellowstone. And some dice. Uh, 
And the cards, they look like this. Yeah, and what about Jellowstone? In the tarot cards, we have Queen of Wands, Two of Coins, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, again, and the Star. And on the Oracle cards, we have Visit, Clear and Shield Your Energy, and an Anchor. And then on the uh, Major Arcana card, we have Temperance. On the dice, we have a little bird, a little fairy with wings, and a compass. Mm -hmm. According to the cards, it doesn't look like it will have a super mega explosion. Um, it will be shielded, even if it will be, could be possible that it want to erupt that will be like building up pressure to an eruption uh, it will be cleared and shielded so whatever big explosion of volcano that want to come out it will be anchored it will be calmed down balanced we have two of coins and the temperance so it will also be redirected or put down and in case it will erupt it will not be a devastation big super volcano eruption it will be a smaller one that is handleable manageable not handleable manageable mm. here again there will be visits of welders uh, from other worlds helps from the star help from the stars or they could come with some technology or some way to make this kind of volcanoes to calm down chill them down so they will not erupt and make um, big big devastations yeah I don't get any eruption. I don't get horrible scenarios here. More likely that it will be calmed down somehow. And uh, there will not be a big, big super volcano explosion. Well, that was my answers for the viewer's question for today. And uh, if you have uh, liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. And to all of you wonderful viewers out there, thank you so much for watching. And uh, remember, if you maybe have a question that could be of interest for many, you could always mail them to me. Or maybe put them down in the comment section and um, I cannot promise that specifically your question will come up but there is a big possibility that it could so thank you again uh, out there take care be strong there are very crazy times coming and if we help each other and support each other and the transition to a better world will go much smoother and easier. Thank you again for watching and hopefully we're going to see each other soon. Bye bye.